Hello everybody, welcome back to the news. So, yes, welcome back, it's good to be back. Make sure guys you do hit the like button and you do subscribe to the channel. Let's try and see if we can hit 130 subscribers for today. So, let's speak about today. So the main topic we're going to talk about today is Dean Smith. Dean Smith, the manager of Aston Villa. He's been told to sign, uh, he's been told to sign a very, very talented player in the championship known as David Brooks. So David Brooks... Obviously, he came to um, he came to Bournemouth during the time of Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe, back in the Premier League, he uh, he came from uh, he came from Sheffield United as well for about eleven million pounds, eleven and a half, sorry. And uh, he has his last twelve months on contract. So I think yeah, this is the time to if if you're really going to. Um, if you're really going to uh, take him, take him now, because like I said, 12 months, you can potentially sign him on a pre-contract, and uh, that's what I will say. So, um, Kenny Sane, make sure you, you would like to subscribe all. Correct. And Brooks is really good for mid-table standard. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I mean, look, I do see a lot of potential, and um, I do see, a, I, yeah, I do see a lot of potential in him. I do think um, watching him in the championship, I only watched him a tiny bit, but I do see that tiny bit of potential. Plus, he's going into a talented Aston Villa squad who potentially, um, who potentially could, you know, challenge for top four next season if they get the right back in. I mean, they're doing exceptional in the league. Potentially some Europa League in next season. You never know. Uh, Dylan, how you doing, my guy? Make sure you do hit the like button, and, I, and hopefully you are subscribed. Um, Nicky Butt leaving us maybe shows he he knows the new directors aren't good. We will be going into that. Um, but yeah, look, um, yeah, we will go into that. But just going back on to uh, the Villa scenario, um, former Villa midfielder Lee Hendry told uh, FFC saying I'm a big fan of David Brooks I've seen a fair bit of him this season and he's an absolute talent he really is he's a young man with bags of ability and I think if he comes to Villa I think he'd be a great addition he reminds me of Jack Grealish and he's very slight he's very mobile and again he's another player that could set the Premier League on fire if given the chance so yeah like what do you guys think of that do you think uh, do you think Brooks is a bit overrated do you think it's uh, it's just a bad sign to be fair what, do calm down below guys what do you what do you think so we're going to we're going to move time bit on as well the Premier League the Premier League have now released their two dates that they are going to be um, the two dates that they're going to be uh, kind of starting up again they're going to be starting back up at August 14th and they're going to finish up on the May 22nd so pretty much yeah um, Dylan saying Dave Brooks is a good sign for Villa. Let's hope we don't sign him though. I mean, you never know at the end of the day. Manchester United is Manchester United. Um, but yeah, so like I said, uh, after the condensed 2020 21 campaign due to co the to COVID, uh, COVID pandemic, the league has revealed it will revert to its usual starting plot in the second week of August. So yeah, so things are slowly getting back to normal, and uh, yeah, we can be thankful for that. But moving on to Manchester United, and obviously, you know, we're talking about Nicky, but we're going to talk about John Murto, um, and potentially he he getting four signings this summer. And for me, I think it's crucial that we get some players, especially a centre-back, a CDM, a striker, and, you know, a right-winger as well. You know, we do need that, uh, if I'm really honest. But So what, one, a few players that, uh, that are rumoured to come to the club... Um, a surprising Paulo Dybala. I mean, for me, Paulo, I, I don't really want him. If I'm really honest, I don't think um, I don't think he fits into our squad. If I'm really honest, I mean, Bruno's are calm. We do have Jesse Lingard coming back, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's. Um, I don't think he will actually find him space. Um, but yeah, so that's one. Uh, another one is Sergio Ramos. Uh, Ramos, I think, is. Um, I do think uh, Ramos would be a great example to to bring in and to try and help, especially someone like Twan Zebe. I do think Twan Zebe needs someone like that in the team. Um, the next one, Rafael Varan uh, from Real Madrid, the other partner from uh, from, from uh, Real Madrid, and um, Erling Haaland is the last one. So surprise, surprise, Erling Haaland would be the last one to be chosen. But um, Dylan puts in the comments saying. 
I think we need a DM, CDM more than a center back, to be honest. Fred of Matic with how many aren't is, especially at CDM. I understand that, yeah, but you do have to look at, like, Bailly wants to leave. McTominay, not McTominay, um, uh, Maguire and Lindelof are not going to be a good center back pairing for next season if we want to do well. Uh, it, it, it all comes down to just practically, you know, you know, can we get new centre backs for next season? I think if we can get Varane and, and Ramos, I think that'd be a great way to to say, you know, even though you know these two are new to the club, they have played together, and you know, and it won't be long until, say, if they do team up with Luke Shaw and Aaron Wan Bissaka. I'm just saying. Um, now we move on to Liverpool. Liverpool are rumored to sign Ibrahim Ibrahima Kanate. Um, Donnell Madeline and there is a message on Erling Haaland. So apparently they're going to be trying to uh, guess Kunate on his uh, on his um, on his contract. His contract is ending very shortly. So the twenty one year old he could be uh, he could be going to Liverpool by a fee of about forty million, which I think is a good deal. To be fair, he is um, that is his release clause as well. So um, yeah, you do have to take consideration about release clauses. Gee, like first, Erling Haaland has one for like seventy seven million that gets into like effect next season, right? Then you have you know, Konate about forty million. Then you had Upper Mercano forty million. I mean, th- this is a this is an absolute joke. I mean, do you mean it, it's simple as that? Uh, Konate has injury problems. I mean, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Billy, welcome to the stream, my guy. Make sure you do hit the like button, man. If you do, do share the stream with your friends, man. Um, I think this will happen. Kanata will join Liverpool. Okay. Alba will join Real Madrid. I think it's fair. Uh, Varane and Ramos will sign new contracts at Real and Tyron Wings. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll sign Tyron Wings. I think all he knows in his heart and soul. And, and I think if he tells John Murta, look, we're not signing that. We're not signing that player. Not a hope now. I think he does want to sign Ramos. I do think Ramos does bring out something different to this United team, especially leadership in that uh, in that back line. And Dylan says, uh, "I loved Kanate Mings with me." Yeah, um, for me, you know, when you're talking about Mings, you're creating a problem at United because let's be honest, lads, we can't keep signing like English talent straight into this team. I mean, you know, there's still other players out there that are still just as good, probably even better um, than, you know, the, you know, as simple as that. Uh, yeah, Dylan saying, uh, Brexit days with Mings, and if we sign Mings on my days, yeah, exact same feeling, my guy, exact, exact same feeling. But yeah, so can I say potentially going to Liverpool? I mean, Liverpool have had massive injury problems. I mean, you know, you don't need to know. They've told us many, many times at this rate. Um, but yeah, they do need to bring in some centre backs. For me, I think their main priority this season should be kind of bring up some youth talent. To be fair, I think you know, Curtis Jones is a great example. I think, yeah, if <laughs> that's all you know, I mean. Um, but I do think if Liverpool could actually, um, if they could actually. Bring up some youth talent to try and you know keep up their squad depth. I think they actually could come back, but the fact is, you're saying if that's that's the main key word, lads. If they can do it, but for me, you know, you look at the medical staff. I mean, <laughs> Tom has already let us know how how he feels about it, uh, them. To be fair, but um, yeah, so like, let me see. Um, VVD might not. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that. That's the you know. I think United were very lucky as an example for Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has come back to his best, and quite frankly, if the thing in 2015 where you know everyone knows his, where his leg could have been amputated, I mean, we would never seen Luke Shaw back on a football pitch. I mean, this could be you know that injury was was brutal. It was uncalled for. It was there was all those things to describe it. But at the same time, you know, you look at it, at his health, you know. Could the, could he get back to his best? Probably, probably not. You just have to wait next season, don't we? Um, so three people, make sure you do hit the like button. Um, so we're moving on to Arsenal next, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Fixiers, who is obviously a player at Real Betis. So uh, obviously this this player was um, very controversial. He was uh, when he was in the French league, he was he was like kind of like the next big thing. Love people were talking about him. 
And um, yeah, honestly, uh, if they sign him over Odegaard, I think that's a big mistake for Arsenal. I do think Odegaard is a great, great player, especially for Arsenal. You know, um, the way he's been playing, especially you know against in the North London derby, that was a great performance by him. I think. Um, so the Gunners have been long-term admirers of the French, French international, and were when he moved from Lyon to Betis. Yeah, so he was at Lyon. Um, let's get some more news on him. What's the situation? Arsenal's primary focus at the end of the season will try to get find a way to keeping Odegaard, who is due to go back to Real Madrid once his own expires. Um, but yeah, like I said, Arsenal would like to sign a 23-year-old on a permanent basis, but it is currently unclear whether Madrid would be open to that or whether Arsenal would have the funds to do that deal. Um, so, how much would he cost? The 2017-year-old. So that he's not he's not 32. He's not 32, Kenny. Jesus. And uh, just quickly, Dylan says, quote breaking news: Lewandowski is out for Poland versus England. All right. Well, that's a walk-in game for England, right? Congratulations, England. You've done it again. Um, all right. So. Uh, he's two years remaining on his contract at Real Betis, and uh, he has, he's, is, is, you know, he's about uh, 90 million release costs, or that in, in dollars, that is 106 million, and he'd be going for about 77 million pounds. So thank you to Gold.com for making me look at all the bloody currencies that he could go under. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, like I said, Betis, you know. Probably not the best team in Spain, but I mean, they could definitely charge a lot for what they want. Um, so, yeah, he was actually rumored as well 2018 to go to Liverpool. So, Arsenal fans, if you're in there, make sure you do comment down below what uh, what you think about this, uh, about this deal. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much we're nearly there. A lot is uh, he's rumored also. AC Man are offering 12 million for uh, for the Manchester United defender. So you know, he, as a United fan, would you would you take that 12 million for a lot? Will you send him back to uh, Milan? Uh, for me, I personally will. I don't think he uh, he fits the United system. I don't think um, I don't think really, uh, uh, United really need him. If I'm really honest, Juan Bissaka. If we get say Max Aaron's potentially, we could sign him for. Say cheap enough, probably 20 25 million, maybe. Um, <laughs> Dylan saying they can have them. I mean, that's a rough, but okay. Three people, make sure you have hit that like button and you do share the stream. Make sure you do subscribe. Let's see if you can share the stream and let's see if we can get to uh, 130. Um, I take it, but we need to say, yeah, exactly. I think Max Irons is a perfect backup. Um, it would probably, it it'll probably improve on the sack, in my opinion. It does, it will probably. Showed that you know we can if we sign someone like um, Max Aaron's, it just shows you that we can sign great talent. I know he's obviously British, and we do not want a Brexit FC defense. I think you know if we can, and this this is me, you know, I'm just hoping, right? I'm just hoping that United you know, they can somehow sell Maguire. They can hopefully sell any player they can. I mean, it, it is it is what it is. That if we don't, we don't. But fingers crossed, we do. So this is the part, guys, I'm going to allow you to give your opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, a cl put in the link to the chat so you guys can hop on, give, give your honest opinions. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, do hop on, lads. Hopefully that link link does work. If it doesn't, I'll make a new one. Um, Lanzi, welcome to the chat, my guy. Thank you so much for watching. Um Aren't will be expensive in Norwich to get promoted. I mean, that's going to happen regardless, that, to be fair. But you do have to pay a bit of money so that, um, yeah, you do need to pay a bit of money, to be fair. Um, oh, I meant they could have him as in Fekir to Arsenal, not Delo. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, still, Delo, you probably sell him as well, to be fair. Um, yeah, so guys, if that link does not work, I'll try and make another one. Hold on, let me go one more time. And if you can't use that, lads, I will I will try and do that. But yeah, do comment down below. Like thirty yeah, fair enough. I, I think um I mean that's that's a good price to be fair. We did pay how much did we pay for Wampasaka? Nearly forty million for him. Um 
So I mean, eighty million for two for two uh, for two centre backs. I mean, you know, thirty five million, forty five million potentially. You know, it's it could happen. It could happen. I do think um, I do think you know I have the skill level to do that. So you guys, I don't think the link is working for some reason. Um, hold on. So yeah. Like I said, guys, um, if you have any other opinions, keep them in the keep them going. And uh, Delo is atrocious. Fair. I mean, I, I can't I can't uh, disagree with that. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, do do put in the link, lads, into your computers, and you can join up if you can. I'll put on my Twitter as well if you want, uh, so that you guys can potentially hop on. But uh, yeah, so ha like, I guess I will end in four minutes. But yeah, like, talk talking about the news. Obviously, we talked about uh, Brooks to Brooks to Villa. Um, hopefully, um, sorry, we have a comment. Billy saying hopefully. Lazio go brain dead. I'm saying Andreas Pereira. Honestly, I hope they do too. I genuinely hope. I don't want that man at our club. I mean, we already have a fake Brazilian at our club in Fred who does not know how to pass. Um, <laughs> it, look, it is what it is, to be fair. If we get rid of him, we get rid of him. We talked about, obviously, the Premier League slowly getting back to normal. Um, Steph, how you doing, mate? Welcome, man. Make sure you do hit the like button. Make sure you do share stream as well, man. And uh, yeah, I know you're subscribed to well, hopefully. If you're not, do it now. Um, but yeah, I do think, uh, so it's probably going back to normal, hopefully. Uh, the next news, what we were talking about, John Murta, you know, trying to get, uh, four players in the summer. We have never brought a real Brazilian. Uh, yeah, I'd have to agree with that. I, if I can think of it, I'll let you know next week, but, or tomorrow, whenever I'll think about that. But yeah, we also have about Liverpool for Canate, um, uh, there's no link, RJ. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to here. So I'll put my Twitter, lads. So it's at Robotic Jaguar, lads. Just follow me up if you can as well. I'll put in a link. Hold on. Um. Going up. Right. So yes, on my Twitter lads, if you do want to follow me, uh, Raphael was okay. I mean, him and his brother were, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, lads. So, uh, so that's what we talked about. We also, I mean, there's also rumors that um, that City might get rid of Raheem Sterling as well. Uh, I didn't really dig deep into that because obviously I just did not have the right information. So, uh, I just need to follow me back on Twitter <laughs> in my opinion. I'll try, man. I'll try, I'll try. I'm a busy man as well. So, I know, yeah, no, I will try and do that as quick as I can. So, yeah, guys. Um, so, Kenny, right? He's hopping on now. Are you, Kenny? Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> so, what, what's your opinions on the news, mate? Um, yeah, any opinions? Or what, what do you think? So, what do you think about our transfer situation? Let, let's talk about that first. Dalot, yeah, needs to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope Andres Pereira goes. I hope Jesse Lingard goes to West Ham. Then for signings, yeah. I hope we can get Sancho, and yeah. then a centre back, and then an essential defensive midfielder. Okay. If you're being unrealistic, yeah, those are the three signings we definitely need. Yeah, hundred percent. I do. I do think. Yeah, I do think we do need a striker. So I do think. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's loads of options when it comes to strikers. I mean, we were rumored to pretty much everyone under the sun. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it could go anywhere. We could go Erling Haaland. Harry Kane might be leaving in the summer. We could get him somehow. I mean, he's not going to be cheap. Obviously, you know, Spurs are Spurs. They will try and get every single last penny they can from. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, to be fair, yeah. Let me see. Um yeah, you know, I need Sancho. I think we do on the right hand side. It just it will just make our our team balanced, if I'm really honest. Because you know, you look at that left hand side, you see Shaw and Rashford. That's a beautiful pairing, where pretty much we just we can rely on them. And then you have Wambasak, and then you have Greenwood. No offense to Greenwood, he's not a right winger for me. Uh, he can move in now. Yeah, that's okay. That's fair enough. But I think if we sign a proper right winger, we don't have to worry about say. 
say I want Masaka going up, you mean he can help out. It, it's simple as that. And Dylan yeah, Sanchez really really improved on Masaka. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, any right winger would really improve him. Apparently, we're looking into Emil Asar. I mean, Emil Asar is not a bad player. It's just you know, not too off standard. There you go. Yeah, I think like like Brooks. I think he'd be a great player for like Villa or something like that. I think that'd be a great sign for Villa if they got Emil Asar. Um, Oops, sorry, sorry about that. This is my ringtone. Jesus, mate, come on. <laughs> Uh, Greenwood not the most consistent in the most in, in the biggest situations. I think yeah, no, his form was very poor this year. To be fair, um, I do think um, you know obviously he had problems at the start of the season. I don't think anyone needs to point them out. Um, I think they're very you know it was very vocal what happened to him and uh, no you know it's simple as that you know he will learn he will he will get better. I mean his first season he was absolute he was absolute uh, he was like gold to me. He was he, he was he was really good to be fair. Um, but yeah, uh, any other opinions, Kenny? On um, any other opinions on the today's news? Um, well, about United, yeah, about that striker situation, yeah, we do quite need a striker actually thinking about it because if Cavani goes, I won't yeah. be trying to have Martial and Greenwood. Now imagine if one of them gets injured, and yeah. then just one striker. That it, yeah, we we will uh, we will be tight for that. I mean, you look at um. McNeil, not McNeil, sorry, he's too young. <laughs> McNeil's too young. I, if we brought Joe McNeil into the Premier League, god damn. Um, but no, um, <laughs> no, what's his name? Joe Hugo, that's it. If we if we could try and bring him in next season, he could be like a little test to see if he's ready. But i say we'd probably use him in the cup games, to be fair. Hannibal is going to be a great sign. Well, not sign, but he's come from the youth. Um, and he probably. Should buy Troy Parrott. Say again? Should buy Troy Parrott. Oh, for sure. I mean, the man is goaded. He is absolutely goaded. <laughs> he should have been playing against for against Luxembourg. He would have scored against them anyway. You know, we, no, we won't talk about Troy Parrott. To be fair, Troy Parrott can say uh, he can say it's first. To be fair, he, he'll try and make them great again. You know, um, but yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna end up there, guys. So um, it's been a very uh, it's gonna be a very fun um, very fun. Uh, stream so far. We've gone into about three twenty three minutes into it. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. And that has been me. And uh, yeah, so you can find me at Robias Jaguar on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. <laughs> and you're proud about that. Um, and yeah, you, you can also find me on the morning show. Also tonight, there will be a um, there will be a weekly review show on the international. So you definitely will not see me there. You'll probably see me in the comments, absolutely cursing about uh, about the performance of the of the of Ireland. So. Um, yeah, thank you so much, guys, and I will see you soon.